Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Ibrahimovic's card as well as talk about some updates to the channel. Um, so as you guys know, I've been doing these podcasts recently and uh, you guys have, have seemed to be enjoying them. Probably not the right way to say it in English, but you guys have been enjoying them, which is awesome. I really enjoy uh, having conversations with people in the community uh, in regards to FIFA stuff and getting different perspectives perspectives from uh, different people. So it's been very interesting for me. I do like the podcast style of doing things. To be honest with you guys, I would upload one every single day. Um, the next podcast plans that we have um, for the next one was actually going to be with uh, Run the Foot Market, Nick. And uh, the reason why we haven't done that today is because of uh, scheduling differences, right? So for him, he's available in the mornings. The mornings is usually when I'm the busiest. Uh, so it's trying to, it's it's hard to find a time frame uh, when we can actually do it. In regards to the, in regards to the uh, the actual podcast being linked for iTunes and Spotify, I am looking into that right now. Uh, apparently, I have to put it on to SoundCloud first, and then from SoundCloud, I have to um, I have to pay for like a I have to pay for like a it's like a like an RSS feed basically so that way I can upload as much as I want and then just put that onto iTunes and SoundCloud. So I'm definitely going to be doing that for you guys cuz I know some of you guys want to be able to watch it uh on SoundCloud, iTunes uh and possibly even Spotify. So I'm going to be looking into that. Uh but yeah, in regards to the podcast that I will be doing uh with Run the Foot Market, that's going to be um sometime soon i'm not sure how long it's going to take from now because again it's all about scheduling differences right now uh, i'm very excited to talk to him about the game because uh, i think he looks at the game from a perspective of uh just a transfer market but also gameplay because i know that he plays foot champs as well and he does perform well with foot champs as well um i think he recently got 28 and 2 um so i think there's going to be a lot of differences between uh myself and him in terms of thoughts towards the game so it's going to definitely be a very interesting conversation so i hope you guys uh look forward to that but in regards to the channel in general i think the balance that i'm probably going to have is i do want to at least upload a podcast a day and uh that's not really that much for me it's it's more about having to stream um so that way i can actually get that time frame in for you guys so that way i can talk about uh different stuff about fifa and not always be negative you know some things are positive like this year image card that we're going to be reviewing um so on and so forth and we're going to be looking at it from that so i want to talk to nick because i want to get his perspective on the market just to get a different idea of the game because for me personally and maybe for you guys as well um i don't really use the market right because i don't like the market right i don't i don't really care to uh make a profit i don't think that that's that should be the only way of making money in FIFA, I think playing the game uh, to make money should be profitable as well. So uh, it's going to be an interesting podcast if I have the conversation with him. But I am I am really looking forward to it because Nick's a really cool guy. So um, definitely looking forward to it. But in regards to Ibrahimovic's card, right? It's a good flashback card because if you look at the description of the card, it's um, earn a flashback Ibrahimovic celebrating his inclusion in Team of the Year 2014, right? So. Um, obviously, they gave him the stats that he had in 2014. And if you look at his specific stats, in this game nowadays, this is a fantastic card, right? Because the pace on his card is completely irrelevant, right? Even though it's, it's already 82, 84, which is already pretty decent, to be honest, because of all the amazing stats that he has, right? Um, in this year's game, pace and having your strikers to get in behind and pass someone's back line isn't as relevant. Now, maybe if the patch comes out and the meta is changed, maybe he'll be a different type of card. But I don't think so, right? Because I think that even if uh, they nerf the finesse shot meta, they make defensive AI a little bit less effective, so on and so forth, whatever it is that they'll, they'll be doing in the next patch, uh, I think this card will still be a very effective card. And I 100% think it's worth doing. Now... Take into account, this is a card that is from the MLS and from Sweden. So the links with him is not going to be necessarily ideal, right? But let's look at the actual card stats, right? His shooting stats are unbelievable. This guy is going to be incredibly, incredibly clinical for you, right? We got some medium low work rates. So the medium low work rates works really well because his balance is really low. So that little bit of a sluggish feel to him is going to be noticeable, right? Um, and then... Medium low works out really well because he's six foot five. So if you cross the ball to him, if you get him on the ball, that's what you're supposed to do. Don't expect this guy to make any runs for you because he won't. To be honest with you, 
I'm pretty sure this card will play better than, a, than an informed striker, Hungman Sun. Even though Hungman Sun has a five star weak foot as well, the finishing, whatever, right? I still think this card will be significantly better. I know that people are going to be like, oh, but Inception, he, of course he will because he has the dribbling, the physical shooting, just for the meta, guys, in terms of the pace aspect, right? Shooting starts are fantastic. Four star weak foot, five star skill moves. Five star skill moves is awesome to have. Being able to do that fake Rabona is really, really nice. It's the fake Rabona. It's the uh, the flip flap, I think it's called. The flip flap, that skill move, uh, the momentum on the ball and the acceleration on the ball, right? It stays on the floor and it positions the ball perfectly. It's kind of the same thing as a Coqueta, right? When you do the Coqueta, it's it comes off so smoothly that the ball stays in place, essentially, on the ground as it's moving, right? Does that, if that makes any sense, right? So when you do um, like a Burba spin nowadays, Burba spins are not really worth doing because you're lifting the ball and you're slowing down the momentum of your player. But those skills are very effective because you keep going, right? It's a good transition. Um, passing Satsi is obviously fantastic at passing the ball as well. To be honest with you guys, having a tall player like Ibrahimovic playing as your cam with fantastic shooting stats wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea, uh, bad idea, right? He has 85 agility and 44 bounce. So obviously, that's the characteristic of Ibrahim Ibrahimovic, right? You're going to notice that. No matter what, you will 100% notice that 44 balance because he is 6 foot 5. So you will notice it. But the thing about this card, right, is that I'm telling you guys this right now. A lot of you guys are going to like it because his pace matches well with his height and his work rates and his balance, characteristically, that's what Ibrahimovic is like, isn't that bad because he makes up for it in so many other stats, especially since he's already four-star weak foot, five-star skill moves, right? Um, 99 composure is a big thing, 91 dribbling, 96 ball control, 94 reactions. Now, obviously, the thing about dribbling, right, that balance stat, makes your dribbling stats lower, right? Not it's not EA actually doing that, but that's what it is, right? Because that's what it that's from a from a regular player point of view, that's what you're going to feel in the game. Okay. Um so his balance is gonna be an annoying thing for sure. But he will make up for in other aspects because you look at a guy that's 99 strength, 99 aggression, those two being 99 with 99 composure this card's going to be a beast. It's going to be very, very hard to get the ball off him. The only time you'll be able to get the ball off someone like Ibrahimovic is when he's off balance, and you can go and get the ball off him that way, right? 71 stamina, it doesn't matter if you're going to be playing striker. That's the most important position. And 80 jumping with 99 heading accuracy. We're talking about a guy that has 99 strength with 80 jumping while being 6'5", right? With a huge physical stature in game because he's big in game, right? This guy's massive in game. Um, so... Is it worth doing? Absolutely, guys. It's a flashback card. It's it's the best version of Ibrahimovic. Ibrahimovic is one of the biggest superstars in the world, right? So in that regard, definitely do the card. Again, biggest problem with it is the is the is the links, right? The links is definitely a problem. But hey man, get him on seven chemistry at the very least, and you'll be in a solid position, right? If you have legends in your team, make sure you get that at least one legend link with him, and he's fine. Um, there's some cards here and there. I know that people, when I say there's no cards, I'm talking about like full meta, right? Now, my team is not a full meta, but there are some MLS cards that you can use that are similar to the team that I currently use, right? So we'll be, we'll be taking a look, right? Let's just say we'll be looking at some examples, right? So we'll search up some MLS players here. And I think some of them may come only from SBCs, but I could be wrong. Uh, so I'm just going to check that out right now real quick. This is from my club, so not that one. So the concept player, so you can see Ibrahimovic, obviously Martinez, right? So the problem with Martinez is, yeah, his characteristics are okay. They're not too bad. Uh, the problem with him now is you got to get chemistry with him too, right? So let's see what we got here. So we got LA Galaxy players, right? LA Galaxy players, there's like Wayne Rooney, Valeri. Yeah. If you use this card, you, he's just, it just feels like you need... A, like you need legends in your team. That's that's the biggest problem with the card, and that's why it's so cheap, right? Um, by the ways, these Halloween cards haven't changed in God knows how long. So do this because I think EA forgot to change them. And hey, I'm totally cool with that because it's fun to use these cards like this. So if they forgot to change them, allow it, okay? Um, 
It seems like they did, because, dude, Schweinsteiger's been like this forever. I'm actually going to check Fellaini's card right now, because I'm, I'm actually curious to see if they if they changed it at all. I'm going to search Fellaini's card I have to make sure that it's the uh, the Halloween version. I think he only has one special version. Dude, he still has 91 pace. I'm probably going to get this card for myself if I end up playing foot champs, just so I can have him as a defensive player to see if he plays any... Uh, if he plays well at all, right? So, um, yeah, that's the problem with Ibrahimovic, guys. If you use Ibrahimovic in your team, you you just don't really have much working for you. Like, you have Martinez. I'm going to see if you guys have any LA, LA Galaxy players. To be honest, just sub him in. Just sub him in. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. Everyone in the MLS sucks, except for Martinez. And Martinez is not even... Well, Martinez is okay. He's not too bad, but he's kind of small, right? Um... Yeah, I just don't see anyone. There's Schweinsteiger. You can use Schweinsteiger, to be fair. Yeah, there's just nobody. Yeah. Just sub them in, guys. It's not a big deal, right? If you end up getting the card, right? Beginning of the game, pause it, put them in the team. That's it. Just get the links to someone. You can get a, You can just put a shitty striker up top and then just put Ibrahim in your team, and then you'll be fine. Um, yeah, that's what I would do. Is it worth doing the card? I think it is, guys. Honestly, man, like... There's not a lot of meta strikers in this game, and even if he's playing on whatever chem style he's playing on in the beginning, like you can't really boost him up that much anyway. So again, if you have icons, good for you. You'll be in a good position. You can you can get him on full chemistry. Blah blah. blah. You really only need like two links. I'm pretty sure, right? Um, Swedish, you don't. Legends, uh, he could put Lars. I don't even know if Larson's still in this game or not, but it's not really like worth using Larson, right? But I'm just saying that you can get Legends in your team and put him in there, and then it would work out really nicely. Um, I'm searching icons because that's how big of an icon Ibrahimovic is. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I would do the card, guys. It, there's not, there's not really that many meta strikers in this game, right? Uh, those attributes that I listed, you'll notice in the game, but he's still going to outweigh those those uh, misbalances that he has in certain areas of this card. So I would check it out, guys, just to see um, if you like it. And last but not least, we got Iker Casillas. Iker Casillas is basically a small little review, right? Um, it's a goalkeeper from the Liga Noche, right? A good goalkeeper from the Liga Noche. I personally would love to do this card or to unlock this card, right? Through the game, through through grinding and grinding and grinding with an FC Porto team. I would love to get this card that way through actually playing the game and, and unlocking him. Um, but in general, six foot one is too short in this game because finesse shot meta, right? And to be honest, I don't think EA has ever gotten that right where the smaller goalkeepers, even Iker Casillas, who's been in team of the year probably like six or seven times, he's just never been good in FIFA. Right, like you can use them in your team, absolutely, but that the height is not tall enough um, in FIFA. But that's just my opinion. Uh, that's pretty much it for the video today, guys. I'll see if I can get some podcasts for you guys tomorrow. If it's not with Nick, it'll be either with someone else or just by myself answering some questions that you guys have um, in the comment section. Just regular discussions, because like like you like I said, guys, I like being the type of guy to just have a conversation with you guys and see your points of view. Just because I don't respond to the comments doesn't mean I don't read them. Um, I definitely read most of them. It's hard to read some because it can get a little bit toxic, but you guys have been fantastic in the comment section uh, with the podcast. So um, it's been awesome that you guys have been enjoying it. So I'll catch you guys for the next video tomorrow. Day after that, we'll see what's up. Okay. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.